Hi my fan and welcome to today's video. In today's video, as the setup over here and the title may have already told you, we are going to get unready together. I love filming get unready videos for you guys, with you guys, because I feel like when I'm like filming those, I just like wind down, I unwind, I feel good and I've had a heavy duty shoot day where a few things went wrong if i should just say so myself and uh, this to me is like i'm filming also but i'm also like chilling with you if you know what i mean in today's video i have a brand partner on board so let's show some love to lotus organics plus today i am going to be using and trying out three of the lotus organics plus products in today's video i'm really really kicked because i want to be able to just do the entire unready routine but also just use three products because why do you have to use like a hundred products if three products can do everything else? So that's what we're gonna do and go ahead and try out today. So let's not make this intro any longer and let's dive right into it. Okay, so first things first, um, I have my cold coffee over here next to me. I haven't been having chai and I've switched over to cold coffee. Who am I even? I'm gonna go ahead and quickly tie up my hair because I don't think it's possible to do a full proper skincare routine thoroughly with like open hair and not make a mess of it. It's a little all over the place but we're gonna live with it because we just have to get all of the makeup off the face. Now, one of the things you guys know about me is that I have really dry skin. On a good, like literally on a good day or in a good week, I will have normal skin. Otherwise, I just have plain old dry skin. So when I saw this precious brightening cleansing balm in the Lotus Organics Plus range over here, I got really, really happy. In addition to which the main ingredient over here is white peony. Now white peony from my research tells me that it's supposed to be really good for making sure your skin feels and looks good. It helps with being an antioxidant. It helps with being one of those things that helps you fight the free radicals. I'll go ahead and throw up a bunch of its benefits over here on the screen for you. I feel like when a brand does its research in what we need in our skin, especially in this day and age with busy urban crazy lives, I'm sold. In addition to this, you guys know I love balms. I love makeup removing balms because I feel like these kind of textures really do wonders for me. I'm really excited to try this out. It's all yellow. Here's like what a little peak of it looks like on the inside. I've just taken about enough, which is like the size of my nail, like a little pea size amount, really not much. And we're gonna go ahead and apply this on the face and it's supposed to melt the entire makeup down and break it down. Okay, right off the bat, this is like buttery balm in texture. I love the texture. This is super, super soft. It was a little bit hard on the surface naturally because the balm has been set inside the jar. But uh, the minute I'm like rubbing it between my fingers, I can immediately feel, oh God. Okay, this feels like I'm applying like a really nice hydrating moisturizer on my face, like a balmy moisturizer on my face. It's really, really soft and it's feeling really nice and gentle on the skin. Like, I'm not tugging my skin. Are you seeing this with me? Wait, I feel like I absolutely have to zoom you guys in a little bit over here. Okay, I've literally zoomed you in just so you can get a closer look on how wonderfully this has like melted my makeup. What was that? Instantly? In like a second or what? Um, I'm just gently massaging my face and this is feeling really really nice on the skin. It's gliding all over my skin and it's melting my makeup. Now this is an experience I would typically get from like really really luxury products. The fact that I'm getting this without breaking the bank is amazing to me. What you can do here is add some more water to your uh, on your face right now and it'll become a little bit milky. I'm curious to try that. I do have some water sitting over here near me in a bowl. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just take some water. I was wearing the shade Shabo on my lips and I do need an oil based or a balm to really take all of my matte lipsticks out. This did the job super easily. Okay, now this is something that you can leave on your face for a couple of seconds if you want to just go on further and let it melt your makeup down even more. Personally, I feel like I don't need that 
because it really has done a great job of just breaking all my makeup down everywhere. I can go ahead now either just wash my face if you want to do that with a face wash or you can just go ahead and wipe it down. Whatever you're into, go with what you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and use a face wash next but I'm going to go and wash my hands really quickly because I have some balm on my fingers still. Okay, so I've just cleaned my hands out because I don't want to go ahead and reach out to product number two with super dirty hands. But the balm is still on my face, which we're now going to wash off. You guys know I'm a huge fan of a two-step makeup removal routine. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of that. What I have over here is their precious brightening face wash. This is super helpful to clarify and brighten your complexion. It is sulfate-free, artificial-free, and fragrance-free. In case you didn't know, Lotus Organics Plus as a brand is also completely cruelty-free. Uh, this is also from the White Peony range. I also have the third product, which we're going to use in a couple of minutes, which is also from the White Peony range. Now I am going to take some face wash on my hands. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take some face wash. It doesn't have a very strong fragrance or anything, which I really appreciate and like. The brand is artificial fragrance free, which I really appreciate. Again, taking some more water from this bowl that I have sitting over here next to me. So I can shoot this nicely for you guys. And I'm going to go over onto my face and just wash the balm off. This will also help clear any makeup residue that I may have missed out on touching, reaching with the balm and take that off as well. My usual problem with face washes, I have to admit, while I'm going in with more product, which is so unlike me, uh, my usual problem with face washes is that I find them a little bit drying. So the fact that this one is not making me feel like it's like, you know, oh my God, foaming up. For me, the sign of when a soap really over foams up on my face is scary to me. Um, so the fact that this is not doing that somehow makes me feel better like in my hair after a long shoot day this is what i need i need to just be able to sit massage my face get rid of the makeup have my cold coffee that i'm sipping over here and sitting next to me enjoy the scented candles that i have sitting behind me and just kind of be enjoying me time at the end of a work day is the joy of its own kind I'm quickly going to wash this off and come back in one second. And I'm all washed up. Can I tell you something? Typically with like face washes when I'm using them for the first time, when I'm using any new face wash for the first time, what makes me most apprehensive about it as someone with like mostly dry skin, otherwise normal skin, is that if I see something overly foaming up on my face, I feel like, oh my God, this is going to strip my skin of all of its natural moistures that it barely has to begin with. Uh, so the fact that this one did not like over foam up actually was a very, very satisfying feeling. It was a very comforting feeling to me. Uh, this is typically meant for people from normal to oily skin tones, but even as a dry skin girl, I didn't mind this one at all. Of course, I'm going to continue to use it a few more times before I come to you with more final thoughts. Treat everything I'm saying as of right now as the first impressions and mini reviews. What we're going to do next is go on to the third product I have from the Lotus Organics Plus white peony range and for that I'm super excited. Over here I have their precious brightening cream and you guys know I'm a huge fan of creams and moisturizers because as I've mentioned for the hundred times in this video today I have dry skin and to me this is like for any brand that makes skincare the way they do their creams or the way they do their moisturizers is the way to my heart so I'm really really excited to try this out now with the balm i literally had to use like a little bit like a pea-sized amount and even with the face wash i could have just used one little bit but i went in with a little bit more because i felt like it um, i just kind of wanted to push it a little bit further and see if it really does form up now i'm just using a little bit of a touch over here and i want to see what the texture feels like on my face because on the finger it's feeling really like nice and creamy and super soft with the moisturizer, my way of like really getting to know the texture a little bit more is massaging it all over my face and seeing how my skin feels, seeing how my hand even feels while I'm doing that. Like, is there tugging? Is there friction? Blend, like get absorbed too fast, too slow. I like to look at those things. Remember that if you're using a brightening cream like this in the morning, you can totally follow it up with a gua sha stone or a jade roller or something. 
since at the moment this is an evening routine i'm not going to go in with the gua sha i typically prefer to use my gua sha as part of my morning routine okay so the texture is feeling really nice and non sticky so major major brownie points over there it's not feeling like chip chip up which is really really important it's feeling really lightweight but still creamy um as you can see there's not much shine on my face which is another thing with moisturizers especially for my oily skin girls out there if you feel like using a cream or a moisturizer is going to make you feel chip chip and it's going to make you look chip chip clearly that is not the case with this one over here i'm not seeing any shine i'm not seeing um i'm not feeling like when i'm looking at myself suddenly my skin looks like you know i'm sweating that image that look is not here at all i have a big fat mirror sitting over here in front of me in case you're wondering what i've been looking at while i am um, filming uh, <laughs> it's just easier for me to look at the mirror over here than keep look at the looking at the viewfinder over there so i'm feeling really optimistic about this this like really nice ultra light texture I'm here for it. This is something that I could wear in the day as well. Now the difference between how I choose my creams for day wear and evening wear like night wear essentially is that when I'm wearing something in the day it needs to be really completely non-greasy. So this kind of like over there um if I'm wearing something in the day it should also be something that makeup would go on to very very easily because I need that smooth base that smooth canvas which I'm definitely feeling with this one over here. So one more little check for that uh ultra lightweight for sure because i don't want to feel heavy on my face at all i don't want to feel um just weird you know on my face in terms of the texture so another big fat check for that and last but not the least this normal skin effect which i love because sometimes moisturizers will leave you looking shiny um or sweaty and i don't like that so the biggest check for that one And on that note, we're going to end this video. I have gotten I'm ready with you, so thank you for hanging out with me. Remember, there is a giveaway in this video. I'm going to head over to giving you the information for that right now. And it's time for the giveaway in this Vlogmas video. Go ahead and read all of the instructions mentioned on the screen really carefully and follow them to the T to be able to win this giveaway. All the best. And with that, it is time to give you the Where Fam comment shout out of the day, which goes to Sonali Anand. Thank you for always talking to me in the comments down below. Leave your video requests, suggestions, ideas, feedback, thoughts. What do you think of the products here today? If you've tried them as well, let me know what you think of them. I will leave links to each and every one of them down below in the info box. So make sure you take a look. Thank you for always talking to me. Like I said, you know I love reading, liking, hearting, and responding to each and every one of you. So keep that coming, and I will see you tomorrow because video. every single day over here all through purpose mm. see you guys bye